In the vast expanse of Earth's history, few stories are as captivating as that of the Rajasaurus. This enigmatic predator emerging from the mists of time in the heart of ancient India challenges our understanding of dinosaur evolution and continental drift. This isn't just another dinosaur tale, it's the story that reshapes our understanding of prehistoric life in the very continent of India itself. This is the curious case of the Rajasaurus, a story 70 million years in the making. if you had a home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. A universe where you can live and learn all you want about the ancient creatures that occupy your mind. You can find it only here on the Dinosaur Channel. Welcome to the Dinoverse. We're about to meet a dinosaur so regal, so fierce, it makes Game of Thrones look like a preschool playground. Now before we jump into our prehistoric time machine, I want to remind you guys to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Also become a member and it goes a long way to help us create more amazing content just like this. We also have a PayPal link below where you can donate to our channel. In ancient India about 70 million years ago, the air was so thick with humidity, you could cut it with a claw and the landscape's greener than a vegetarian's dream buffet. But lurking in those lush prehistoric jungles is a predator so fierce, it makes your average T-Rex look like a grumpy chicken with an attitude problem. That's right, folks, we're talking about the Rajasaurus. Before we dive into the juicy details of our regal reptile, let's take a moment to appreciate the real MVPs of our story, the paleontologists who dug up this royal pain in the asteroid. It's the early 1980s. While the rest of the world is rocking out to Madonna and trying to solve Rubik's Cubes, a bunch of fossil hunters are getting down and dirty in the Naramada River Valley in Gujarat, India. These intrepid scientists were probably expecting another routine dig. Maybe they'd find a new interesting bone, have a nice cup of chai, and call it a day. But little did they know, they were about to hit the dino jackpot. As they carefully brushed away millions of years of dirt and rock, they slowly revealed something extraordinary. The fossilized remains of a predator unlike anything they've seen before. Finding a fossil is one thing, but figuring out what the heck it is, that's a whole other ballgame. It's like trying to put together a jigsaw puzzle where half of the pieces are missing. It took until 2003 for scientists to officially name this bad boy Rajasaurus Narmadensis. Let's break down that mouthful of a name, shall we? Raja means king in Sanskrit. Saurus is Greek for lizard. And Narmadensis is just a fancy way of saying, hey, we found it near the Narmada River. I guess King Lizard from that river over there didn't have quite the same ring to it. Now that we know how our royal friend got its name, let's talk stats. Rajasaurus was no slouch in the size department. We're talking about 30 feet of pure, unadulterated dinosaur awesomeness. To put that into perspective, that's like five average-sized dudes standing on each other's shoulders, except instead of a funny circus act, you get a bone-crushing death machine. And weight? Well, oh boy, at three tons, this guy tipped the scales as much as an elephant or a really, really overloaded school bus. But the real crown jewel of Rajasaurus, see what I did there? Was its headgear. This dinosaur sported a thick skull with a horn-like crest something that's relatively rare in carnivorous dinosaurs. Scientists are still debating what this head ornament was for. Maybe it was for attracting mates, or perhaps it was used in headbutting contests. And let's talk about those jaws. If a Rajasaurus head crest was its crown, then its jaws were definitely its scepter. This dinosaur had a bite that could turn bones into breakfast cereal. We're talking about teeth designed for one thing and one thing only, turning other dinosaurs into dinosaur chicken nuggets. And all this coupled with legs built for pure speed. Now you might be wondering, what did this walking food processor actually eat? Well, my curious comrades, Rajasaurus wasn't what you'd call a picky eater. Its menu probably included everything from giant sauropods to ornithopods that were having a really, really bad day. But don't go thinking Rajasaurus was all bite and no brain. These predators were likely pretty smart as far as dinosaurs go. They had to survive in a world where everything was trying to eat everything else. Generally, in the prehistoric world, we know that predators were relatively smarter than herbivores. Problem-solving skills in a violent world leads to quite a bit of intelligence. Welcome to prehistoric India. India this time was an island. This isolation led to some pretty weird and wonderful evolutionary adaptations. 
It's like Mother Nature decided to play a game of what if with an entire subcontinent. The India of Rajasaurus' time wasn't the bustling, crowded country we know today. Nope. It was a lush, tropical paradise. Well, a paradise if you're into oppressive heat, giant meat-eating lizards, and the constant threat of volcanic eruptions. So maybe not paradise for us, but for Rajasaurus, it was home sweet home. Rivers crisscrossed the landscapes, creating fertile floodplains that supported a diverse array of plant life. And where you have plants, you have plant eaters. And where you have plant eaters, you have, well, you have the Rajasaurus. Looking at them like they're items on a menu. This isolation is why Rajasaurus is such a unique mix of features. Rajasaurus shares similarities with dinosaurs found in Madagascar and in South America, which is pretty mind-blowing when you think about this. This is because Rajasaurus belongs to a group of dinosaurs called the Abelisaurids. They were the top predators in the southern continents during the late Cretaceous. So while T-Rex was doing its thing in North America, Rajasaurus and its relatives were the kings of the south. But Rajasaurus didn't rule alone. Fossils of other theropods have been found in the same area, which means Rajasaurus probably had to deal with some competition. We can imagine Rajasaurus facing off other predators competing for territory and for food, and they probably also had to watch out for its own kind. Many scientists think that theropods like Rajasaurus may have been cannibals. That's right, they may have actually eaten each other to survive. Now time for a random side note. Here's a mind-bending thought for you. Rajasaurus is helping us understand plate tectonics. I know, that's kind of a crazy concept, but let's get into it. This dinosaur is actually teaching us about geology. You see, back in the day, all the continents were jammed together in one supercontinent called Pangaea. Over millions of years, this landmass broke apart, sending continents drifting across the globe. By studying dinosaurs like Rajasaurus and comparing them to species found in other parts of the world, scientists can track how these continents moved. As awesome as Rajasaurus was, it couldn't stick around forever. And about 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid decided to gatecrash Earth's party. The result? Goodbye dinosaurs and hello mammals. This event is known as the Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction, or the KPG for short. This event wiped out 75% of plant and animal species on Earth. It was like someone hit the reset button on evolution. The study of dinosaurs like Rajasaurus isn't just about unearthing cool fossils. Although that part is awesome, it is mostly about understanding our planet's history, how life evolves, and even how climate change affects species over time. In a way, by studying these ancient animals, we're learning crucial lessons about our own future. Now, let's talk about something super fun, Rajasaurus in popular culture. While Rajasaurus hasn't made its big screen debut yet, Hollywood, I hope you're listening, it has captured the imagination of dinosaur enthusiasts from around the world. In India, Rajasaurus has become a source of national pride. It's like the prehistoric version of a Bollywood star, famous, fabulous, and with a really impressive head ornament. Museums have created exhibits featuring Rajasaurus, helping to educate the public about India's prehistoric past. And in the world of paleo art, that's the art depicting prehistoric life, Rajasaurus has become a popular subject. Artists have depicted in everything from fierce hunting scenes to mostly fierce hunting scenes. Turns out that there's not much else to do when you're a carnivorous dinosaur, but Rajasaurus did hit the big time in prehistoric planet. This lesser-known dinosaur finally got its moment in the spotlight during Season 2 of the Apple TV Pro show, which dropped in 2023. It was a pretty big deal considering Rajasaurus isn't exactly a household name like Tyrannosaurus Rex. The show took us on a trip to late Cretaceous India, giving us a peek at what Rajasaurus's hood looked like back in the day. And let me tell you, seeing this bad boy in high-quality CGI was something else. This wasn't just cool for dinosaur nerds, it was important for a bunch of reasons. First off, it put Rajasaurus on the map for a lot of people who had never heard of it before. It also showed off how diverse theropods were and highlighted how being isolated on ancient India led to some unique evolutionary traits. Plus, it was awesome to see India's prehistoric past getting some love. Let's face it, when most people think of dinosaur fossils, they're probably picturing the American West or maybe China, but India doesn't come up so often. So this was a great way to showcase the rich paleontological history of this subcontinent. All in all, Rajasaurus' appearance in Prehistoric Planet was a pretty big milestone for this dinosaur and its history. Next stop, Jurassic World. Okay, maybe that's a stretch, but a dino fan can dream. As we wrap up, I want to leave you guys with a thought. Rajasaurus ruled for millions of years and then vanished in the blink of a geological eye. But through science and imagination, we've brought it back to life. Every time we learn something new about Rajasaurus, we're not just learning about a long-dead animal. We're learning about ourselves, our planet, and our place in the grand story of life on Earth. Every time you look at a bird, you're seeing a living dinosaur. Nothing more than the distant cousin 
of the Rajasaurus. So there you have it, folks, the curious case of the Rajasaurus, the King Lizard of India. If you enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate you subscribing and becoming a member on the channel. Joining us will go a long way to help us create more content just like this. You can also donate to our PayPal link down below in the description, and we will see you guys in the next prehistoric adventure. Goodbye, friends.